so now we come to the third point which is only temperature affects the value of kc i want you to learn this by heart because neither pressure nor concentration affect the value of kc only temperature affects the value of kc uh, we are not delving into the reason behind this the only thing that we need to know that even though all all three things temperature pressure and concentration affect the equilibrium the position of equilibrium the equilibrium constant is only affected by temperature so if the forward reaction is endothermic if the forward reaction is endothermic positive which means the enthalpy change is positive if the forward reaction is endothermic then if i increase temperature then obviously equilibrium will shift to the right because an increase in temperature favors the endothermic side of reaction and if the forward reaction is endothermic an increase in temperature will favor it so as i increase temperature the equilibrium will shift to the right to form more of c and more of d so in this case as more of c and more of d is formed you will you know that the that the numerator will be larger so the value of kc will increase the numerator will be bigger so the value of kc will increase kc will be greater but if my forward reaction is exothermic which is which means it has an enthalpy change of negative uh, which is negative if my forward reaction is exothermic and increase in temperature a decrease in temperature favors exothermic side of reaction so if i decrease temperature then again more of c and more of d will be formed because my forward reaction is exothermic i have taken it to be exothermic so if i decrease temperature more of c and more of d will form and again my numerator for kc will be larger and hence kc will be larger so kc will be larger which tells us that um, the equilibrium lies more to the right now in now let's take forward reaction to be endothermic again now what if my forward reaction is endothermic and i decrease temperature if my forward reaction is endothermic my back reaction is exothermic and a decrease in temperature favors exothermic side of reaction so as i decrease temperature then more of a and more of b will form and hence uh my denominator will be greater so as my denominator will be greater in that case kc will be smaller because the denominator is greater and again if my forward reaction is exothermic and i increase temperature then i know that the back reaction is endothermic and an increase in temperature always favors the endothermic side of reaction so if my forward reaction is exothermic and i increase temperature then the back reaction will be favored because it is endothermic and more of a and b again will be formed and again my denominator in the kc expression will have a larger value so as my denominator has a larger value kc will decrease so this was for uh, the effect of temperature on kc now let's go to another another type of equilibrium constant which is kp so earlier we will we were dealing with concentrations but for gas phase reactions especially we can deal for pressure as well so n2 plus 3h2 gives 2 nh3 in a reversible reaction again so this is completely gas phase this reaction uh, all three reactants and all all the reactants and products are gases uh let me write this again So N two plus three H two. Ah, forget the state symbols always. N two, you don't, you must not forget them. However, N two plus three H two in a reversible reaction. Will give me two N H three. Okay, so in this case, for example, that I have 
one mole of this, three moles of this, and two moles of this at equilibrium. So their equilibrium.